like, wow, man, this is it. This is the moment I've been waiting for. Welcome to the Tiger Pit. We are here to unbox my very first custom Buck 110. Now, my problem is I'm having a hard time figuring out what to open this box with. I got this last night. I just wanted to tear it open and check it out, but I do realize that you guys really enjoy watching these uh, buck unboxings, apparently by the amount of views I've been getting. Thank you very much for watching, supporting, and checking out my channel. I generally don't say this, but like and subscribe, please. I don't have 20,000 subscribers, but I had over 20,000 views of my buck one. 12 unboxing. This is what I unboxed the 152 with last time, and apparently it was good luck. I'm already over 10,000 views. Greatly appreciated. Well, I used this to open the 110 last time, so I won't. I don't know if I can use <laughs> this 152 to unbox. That would be sacrilege. Or not really. It's a knife. It's meant for cutting. Well, I could use my 110, 120th anniversary. I could use my Cabela's exclusive, an S30V. Hmm, I don't know. Limitless possibilities. I could use my Slim Pro and Makata. Love this knife. That might be a possibility. Oh, by the way, Buck of the Month, May, Slim Pro 112 Red D2 Blade, aluminum covers, hmm, not a bad deal, I'm not sure I'll get that one, could use my 110 Drop Point S30V Ebony, you know, I was going to save these for a video, oh, my addiction to the Buck 110. Here's the 110, an African ebony, picked up from the buck shop in Idaho. Amazing deal. I may open it with that. And for all you viewers who say I talk too much and just get to the unboxing and open it, why don't you fast forward, please, to the unboxing. My newest edition, the Buck 110 Sport Pro. Green Makata S30V. Very cool knife. I still have to do a review of this. Um, yeah, why don't we do it with this? Hold on a second. Okay, let's do this then. Had to move some knives out of the way. Sport Pro. Now, this knife... I'd ordered the uh, beginning of April. Four to six. Uh, six, six to eight weeks uh, time on this. And um, I didn't expect it to get it to June. So I'm very pleasantly surprised. Maybe it's their off season. People can't buy any knives because they're paying taxes. I did not get uh, any tax return this year. I had to pay. So got custom knife, 110 FG Indigo. Let's go, let's do this. I have a hard time choosing a 110. At the custom shop, I've tried to do it multiple times. There's so many uh, nice wood materials, different sheaths. I went with the brown on this. Now, I, th I personally think that this knife would go better with a black sheath, but I did not have a 110 in there. Made in USA, supple brown leather. I figured I could always throw this in a black sheath if I wanted to. I have plenty of them. But I did want to get this. It's like a $10 edition on the 110. And they're hard to find, and if you can, they're over $20. 
Uh, like I said, so many woods to choose from. Pins, no pins, blade steels. I couldn't decide, so when I got my 152, I bit the bullet and just did it. Now I got options on this knife that I didn't think I would be getting on a 110 ever. But because I have multiple 110s, I opted for some options that I didn't have before on this custom. So, the moment of truth. Thank you, Buck, for fulfilling this order and getting it out so fast. We have blue wood. I got blue wood because I didn't have blue wood. I wanted palm, wood, uh, what else did I want? I wanted buffalo, I wanted stag, but I didn't have a blue wood. So I opted for this one. I actually opted for pins on this one, unlike my 112. Probably because the, the inserts are larger and I got finger grooves. I don't think they'd pop out, but I do like the look of pins. Almost got nickel silver on this opted for the brass. Now I'm not a huge fan of the finger grooves. The 112 it felt really good. I do not have one. My friend purchased one and uh, I like the look of the 110 with no finger grooves but why not? It's a custom. Get one. This blue wood I don't know if it's coming through. I don't have my macro focus on. But it's very nice. It's almost like a blue green. What else did I opt for? Well, I could have went with the normal 420 high carbon, but I have a couple of 110s in that already. So I opted for the S30V. Another. Wow. Look at that backlog. Another option I opted for was. A serrated blade. Now, I'm not a huge fan of serrations. Uh, I do have a couple of knives with serrations. Um, I generally don't get serrations. And it's great for cutting rope. But the fact that they offer this as an option, I thought with the finger grooves and the serration at S30V, this is a mean machine. Feel the finger grooves? Man, oh, actually that does feel really good in the hand. Now, like I said, I might not like the look of the finger grooves on the 110. I prefer a traditional 110. And oh, it does feel really good. It really does lock you in really nice. Check for any blade play, no left, right, no up, down. Let's see, Buck USA, the custom knife shop, S30V. The serrations, it's a love-hate relationship. A lot of people in the knife industry and knife world don't like serrations. It's not very practical, but like I said, for cutting rope, it'll chew it up. And you still got this part of the blade here for any finer cuts that you may want to do. Serrations kind of can be a little bit of a pain to sharpen unless you have the right tools. Buck does offer a sharpening service. You can send it to them to get it sharpened. I doubt this will ever go dull because I'm not sure I'm going to use it constantly. This is my first 110 custom. Uh, give you an idea of just a normal looking buck, the African ebony. I love the clip point. I love the blade shape. And this looks mean, but this looks absolutely killer. Finger grooves, serrations, like this could get the job done. And I was going to opt for nickel silver. I do like the nickel silver. I do have it in my drop point series, but uh, there's something about brass that just screams buck for sure. And I know the nickel silver, I might save it for a buck buffalo 
horn custom which i almost did at this with this i think it was like a 47 dollar upgrade so instead of being a 150 dollar knife this would have been almost a 200 dollar knife and and like i had stated before i didn't have a blue wood and i kept putting it off and every time i did my custom in the blue wood i would take it out and do something else and then i would just go back and forth and be like, I can't decide, I can't decide. So I'm really glad I finally got a blue wood. Finger grooves, serrations, S30V with pins. Very happy with this, like I said, 150 bucks, not including tax. I did have a 20% off discount code, uh, which saved me a lot. And to me, this is definitely worth it. I have plenty of 110s. I'm going to do a video on my 110 collection and my addiction someday, eventually. I just keep accumulating them. To me, they just are the perfect size. A lot of people complain that they're very heavy in the pocket. Yeah, whatever. It's a knife. You know, certain guns are heavy. <laughs> and, well, you might not carry them as an EDC every day, but doesn't make them any less of a gun or any less of a knife being heavy. I like the weight for cuts. It it gives you, it just, it, it seems to cut better with the weight. You know, I have this Slim Pro and it's awesome, razor sharp and it's light. But I did notice cutting with this, uh, the cuts, it just didn't cut as easy as having a nice paperweight in your hand, for sure. Well, hopefully you enjoyed this unboxing. I really appreciate it. Please like and subscribe. Get a lot of views on these buck videos. And uh, not, as very, not as many subscribers or likes. And I usually don't say that because I always think, you know, like, hey, if you like the video and you like the channel, you'll just do it. But sometimes you might need a reminder. I'm not gonna put any flashies up there, like like and subscribe. But just do it. Or not. Well, that's it. Let's see if I can splice this video together and give you a whole video. Thank you very much for watching. Stay sharp. Be kind. And take chances. Have a good day.